Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, time for a little studio update. Uh, first off, this is a Adeptus, no, it's, yes, Adeptus Custodes Army. I said Grey Knights earlier and got myself all confused. These aren't done yet. They are on lava bases. Uh, they've got magnetization on them. And uh, we're, these guys have magnetization on the arms just to... Uh, for ease of storage because the arms are really long. Like each of these is like three inches long. Pretty huge. And by the way, this is like 2,000 points of jet bikes there. That's it. We got some Forge World guys. These are really super handsome. And, uh, you know, heroes and stuff. Jonah's been helping me out a lot, by the way. We organized the Bits Wall over the weekend, which was a huge dusty deal. Oh, that was terrible. Do you have any comments? On the dust wall? I don't know, on anything. I like these guys I made for All right. D&D. So we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, first edition. Yeah. Alright, so tell me about these characters. Alright, Swamp Witch <laughs> with a Mantis guy I don't have here. Oh, it's not the Zen Archer anymore? It, not anymore, no. That figure's awesome, This by the way. is a Blood Rager Dragon Disciple guy. Right. This is a Ar Eldritch Archer... Uh, Magus. And that's based off a uh, Stormcast Eternal, yes. right? And this is based off of a Blood Reaver. Yeah. Is it one of the ones I had in my box out there that I was going to refurbish? Maybe. Yeah, it's okay if it was. It doesn't matter. It I'm just going to do them. And by the way, I love what you've done with this figure. With that. It is a Sisters of the Thorn riding a elk thing that I just, you know, turned into a thing. You change it so the legs weren't bow-legged yes. riders. And it's a Zongor bow. Enlightened, yes. Yep, and the quiver that goes with that. Mm -hmm. and, and then that's one of Yathari's guardians. Yes. I think that's how it's pronounced. I did a few changes. It's uh, The character has a giant butchering axe and a right. bramble fist in which oh, nice. is a Kurnoth hunter arm that I moved onto it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so you blew up, because Griffin owned Iltharis Guardians, so you yes. blew up one of his guys to make this guy. I'm going to switch it Which I think is back. wise. Probably. I think you should do it. <laughs> well, those kits are only 30 bucks each. Huh. That's uh, nice. Okay, so, and, and then, then this guy. Other random uh, arcane spellcaster and or and this self elementalist. <laughs> where did we pick up this model? It was... Uh, it's one of the D&D Nulzers things, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a resin. Cool. All right. Thanks. Yeah, of course. That's good. I love them. Okay, so uh, I'm also putting up a lot of lots on the web store. And uh, so we've got a lot of guardians. I've grouped mostly in units of 10. And I've got a gray seer, a skaven figure, so, uh, a shadow seer, which has no staff top. And um, this is the Shadespire... Skaven. Ska what's, what's the name of it, Griffin? Nope, Griffin's not here. The Skaven for Shadespire are called um, the Spike Claw Swarm. Yeah. Yep, that's Scritches, it. Scritches, Spike Scritches, Claws. Scritches, Spike Claws? Yeah. Scritch Claws. Scritch, Scritch, Scritch Claws. All right, well, whatever yeah. it is, that's what we have. I have uh, 22 Vestroian Infantry with five heavy weapons. This is a real gem, by the way, because you can't get those anymore. A bunch of stock marines from Battle for Macrage, a whole bunch of marine hero types and specialists and elites, and a small ultramarines starter army for no apparent reason. All right, guys, that's uh, your studio update. I hope that you have enjoyed.